Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, Proposition 8 ruling today. Can you tell us what the ruling is? The ruling said that Proposition 8, which was a voter initiative that banned same-sex marriages in California under the California Constitution, the Ninth Circuit decided that that initiative is unconstitutional under the federal Constitution. So what effect will this have on uh, same-sex marriages in California, and for that matter, in the U.S.? So it won't have an immediate effect on either type of marriage. Right now, the opinion is stayed, and uh, likely the proponents of Prop 8 will ask to have that stay extended until all the appeals have been exhausted. After all the appeals have been exhausted, if um, either the Ninth Circuit decision stands, or either the full Ninth Circuit in a rehearing on Monk, or the U.S. Supreme Court affirms it, then marriages would start in California again, but it will have no effect on marriages in other states. Because? Because the, if the court carefully limited its ruling to California, and what it found unique about California is that we had same-sex marriage in California, and then the voters took the right to marriage away. In addition, we have a domestic partnership law that provides all the same rights as marriage, but not the name of marriage. And the court emphasized that those two facts together makes the state of California unique. It's different. That isn't true in any other state. We'll talk about the Supreme Court in a moment, but what is the next step? That's up to the Prop 8 proponents. They have two options. They could petition the Ninth Circuit for what's called a rehearing en banc, where a larger group hears it. It would be 11 judges on the Ninth Circuit. Or they could choose to bypass that and go directly to the Supreme Court and ask the Supreme Court to grant cert and hear the decision. So we have to wait to hear from them what they're going to do. So what do you think will happen uh, when they take it to the Supreme Court? That's a very good question, and it's really up in the air. The Supreme Court very easily could deny cert. They could say that this is a narrow issue, limited to the state of California, and it isn't the kind of case that the California, excuse me, that the U.S. Supreme Court typically hears, or they could decide that they want to hear it because it's such a hot topic. Um, it's really up in the air right now whether they will or won't. Um, and it's not the slam dunk that a lot of people are saying, of, of course the U.S. Supreme Court will hear it. Given what the Ninth Circuit said, there's a good chance that they might not hear it. Because there are very narrow issues here, if the Supreme Court uh, did uphold whatever the Ninth Circuit does after that venue is, is finished with all of its actions, it still would not have impact outside of California? It wouldn't have direct impact outside of California. If, if the U.S. Supreme Court decides exactly as the Ninth Circuit did, it's a, it's a ruling limited to California. But obviously, it would have a huge influence on what's going to go on in other states. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court could decide on its own to go beyond the Ninth Circuit opinion and say that all bans on same-sex marriage are unconstitutional, but I think the likelihood of that is zero, <laughs> that that would happen. So we still have a long road ahead. There is still a long road ahead. In California, the roads become slightly shorter, but it's still long. In other states, it's a much longer road. And currently, existing same-sex marriages in California continue to exist? The currently existing same-sex marriages in California cannot be taken away. So the 18,000 marriages that occurred in the summer of 2008 are still valid marriages. It's just the question of will anybody else have the right to marry?